Welcome back. This is still Tea Time on Plus TV Africa. Our guest is a singer and songwriter whose love for music started very early with countless occasions of sing-alongs with Barney songs and family organized karaoke night. She decided in her first year in high school to enter her first ever singing competition. Her first EP titled No Drama was released um, in July 2020. Let's make welcome the self-taught pianist and the lady who says music is her escape, Elmina. Hi. Hi. Well, How you well, doing? So much. I'm good, thank you. G. The bunny part is quite interesting for me. So do you, do you want <laughs> to? I wanted to Let do. Let me sing my only bunny song. Mm -mm. I know. Wait, then maybe if we can don't say I love you. Love you. <laughs> That's like the only bunny song oh, I know. Oh no. Um, I just love Bunny so much. I love singing. So which one so. are you doing for us? Before we even get to you doing your song. Come yeah. On, come on. Oh God, mm -hmm. I, I There's can't. There's a child in everyone. Yes. Do this. Okay, uh, Mr. Sun, Sun, Mr. Golden Sun. Please shine down on me. Okay, that's okay. all I'm going to do. <laughs> well, I used to sing a lot to my little sister as well because mm. she loved Bonnie as well, so I was quite happy mm. about that. But yeah. Okay, so what's been going on? How is the industry embracing you? It's been amazing, actually. The love and support from everyone, my friends, family, just people I don't know as well. It's just been unbelievable. I was very scared at first, and honestly, I've just been welcomed very well, so I guess... I have nothing but good stuff to say. All right, cool. so um, you're doing the No Drama EP tour, yes. obviously, and this, that's why we're on this <laughs> table right now. Yes. But one thing that caught my attention is that No Drama is actually not just about love, because a lot of people listen to it and think it's about love, but mm. it's also about self-love. Huh? You yes. have to learn to love yourself yes, before yes. you can be loved by someone yes. else. So did you have an experience that made <laughs> you realize that? Um, I think it's been one of those things where I've seen friends and personally, I've been in situations where, oh, I thought, okay, this is going to be the person. It's going to be my boyfriend because I've actually never had a boyfriend. And I'm like, oh yeah, this is going to be the person. And then things fall through and I'm like, okay, maybe I need to take some time out and then, you know, build on my character. You know, everyone always says, I'll take some time out and learn about myself or grow and all these things. But people don't actually do it. You just, you, you say you're doing it and then you're waiting secretly for the next person to mm. come around but i think i just had to realize that look you need to actually sit down and mm. learn who you are mm -hmm. love who you are everything about yourself and um not not wait for someone else to carry on all those baggages that mm. you may be holding on because um it there's no way the relationship can go forward you can't expect other people to solve your problems for you they can only do what they can here and there but you have to be the strongest person you can be for yourself and All not right. for anyone else. Re -re Rewind. I'm sure a lot of people thought we missed that when she said, I've never had a boyfriend. I'm sure the people are like, we're not listening. So what's up? Tell us about that. How come you've never had a boyfriend? Um, well, I've had flings, but I've never had a serious... Interesting. I like you. A serious... The, the way you're so right? vocal about yeah, it. Yeah, I mean, a lot of I'm, I'm, one thing I've always said to myself, I want to be 100 and just be real, be truthful about everything. So, I mean, there's nothing to hide. Mm -hmm. I mean, but yeah, I've had flings. I've never had a proper boyfriend that I could be like, oh, this yeah. is what you feel, I would say, yes, girl. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, it's, but it, and it's, it's, not, it's not a bad thing because I'm learning things about myself from each mm. situation mm. that mm. might occur. And that's perfect. Or each fine. entanglement. Uh, yes, that's the word. Entanglement. That's the word. <laughs> <laughs> yes. All okay. right. So um, my favorite song is um, "Done with You." Right. Really? Yeah. No. I really love that song. Mm. And um, the No Drama EP is visual EP as yes, well, right? Yes. So you have a video for everything. Yeah. What inspired that? What inspired doing the visual EP? You know, backing every song up with a video. So the whole project is a whole a little story of its own. Mm. So that's what, why the whole visual EP thing came about because we're trying to tell a story of a toxic situationship um, and it's just going through and you seen them going in and out in and out. I'm not going to tell, tell too much of the story because I don't want to everything isn't out yet so mm. I don't want to spoil it um, but you see the whole thing through and then the last song which is you'll never know is more about you'll never know when someone's out to love you so um, if they're not prepared for you to love them you need to step back and just focus on yourself. Right. Do you and draw your inspirations all from 
flings, entanglements, relationships, things like that? A mix. So okay. it might be personal. Sometimes I start off with a personal story or maybe like something happened. I'm like, oh, I write that line down. And then I just carry on. You give it with, an ending. Yes, I just give it an ending <laughs> with, with a little bit of imagination. Yeah. I just give it an ending mm -hmm. because um, I can't... I. I I can't exactly say that I've gone through everything that's happened in those things. And I thank God for that because yeah. I, I wouldn't want to be in that situation. So it's just one of those things where you just have to go and see what you can work with. So okay. if the pandemic didn't come, what would you have been doing right now? What was the plan? Um, I would have still been at uni. Okay. Yeah. Um, yeah, I've been on some holidays, you know. I was going to have some lovely time with my family and some friends as well. So mm -hmm. that was pretty much the most plan. of the plan. Yeah. Okay, yeah. So for every entanglement, like you said, you discovered something, you found out something about mm. yourself. But what is one thing that has remained constant with each entanglement that you know that, Elmina, you have to work on this. This is your problem. Mm, that is... Okay, one thing, I keep my wall really high. So I, I guard myself. So before anyone steps into my circle, it's like, you better be careful. I remember someone going up to my friend and telling her that he liked me. And she was like, you better be careful because I'm going to step on your neck if you're, not, if, 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 you're, if you're playing games with her. Like, do you have to... And I don't think it's a bad thing. I, don't, I wouldn't say it's a necessarily bad thing because I'm, I'm actually protecting myself from, you know, the other people that might come along that don't necessarily deserve to be in that situation mm. so i mean so what's your idea of an ideal man i mean oh that's for when you <laughs> decide to have this you know boyfriend um i've always had this um rule of never saying what it is i know what it is but i just never want to disclose for the reason being that i feel like if people listen and they pick up on that they pretend to pretend be that yeah. person so i always keep it to myself and obviously in my prayers as well so mm. so i think your voice speaking and the, the little you did for us i think it's a beautiful voice oh, so thank it's you time so for you to sing oh <laughs> and do something lovely okay um since done with you mm -hmm. yeah. is your favorite one um no don't be done with me come on but okay <laughs> i'm gonna start there with you don't worry <laughs> Okay, let me let me just try and gather myself. Mm -hmm. um, done with you. I'm done with all your games, and I'm done trying to be your main woman. Done with you. You made my life a strain, and you caused me so much pain. Said I'm done with you. No, Nick, why are you pointing? Come on, don't do that now. <laughs> I know that she's, she also likes giving us flings in the song. Like, believe us, they're stopping already. Why? Oh, no. It's a, it's a, you need to go stream it oh, wow. on everything. Mm, okay. Yes. Okay. So um, basically, for me, aside um, all of this now, I want to be a little bit pretty. Your mm -hmm. genre of music is um, R&B, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, R&B and so And um, you know about the verses, the Timberland and um, Swiss Beat versus Battles, right? Mm -hmm. Yes. So yes. Um, I'm sure if, I, if you have to name your top three R&B artists, I'm, I'm just guessing, right? Maybe Usher will be on it. No. Okay, Chris Brown. No. Okay. Why but if the both of them if the both of them go to <laughs> do a versus together, what do you think would win? Oh they did actually, you know. Um Chris Brown and Chris Usher. Brown and Usher. I they think have? they had one, but it wasn't on the Swiss mm. uh, it was a different um I can't remember who, what platform it was. But I think it was Chris Brown who won. Mm. And I would pick Chris Brown just because Obviously, I'm younger, so I'm closer to you. So, who are the females you look up to in the industry, um, um, locally and internationally? Okay, locally, mm -hmm. Tiwa Savage. Okay. Tiwa Savage, I love her so much. Mm -hmm. um, internationally, Summer Walker, Whitney Houston, bless her. Yeah. Um, right, now, I'm curious, though, <laughs> because <laughs> I She really... hasn't done mentioning, though. Okay. You have more? Um, Beyonce. Mm. Um, I mean, her. The list yeah. goes on, the list goes okay. on. Now, I'm curious because um, I need to know the guys in your um, R&B list, favorite of all time. To be honest, I've actually never given that a lot of thought. I do, I do 
really like Usher and Chris Brown, but when you say my top, it would then be the females. No offense okay. to... Okay, so no. is that something feminist. you're working on? No. <laughs> <laughs> is that something you want to let us know you're working on, we should be looking off to? Or looking um, off well, towards the end of the year, I mean, I'm... I, with this project, I've introduced myself as an R&B and soul artist, but I mean, I'm not going to limit myself in any way. Okay. Um, and I'm looking forward to, you know, diving into different... Mm -hmm. I've already sure. got something w in the works. Okay. You guys should be prepared to, you know, give us a little bit of a dance. Okay. Um, so, yeah, that's, that's pretty much all I've got to say about that. I'm going to try everything. I see myself as mm -hmm. a versatile artist, so... All right, we'll yeah. definitely be looking out for that. Thank, <laughs> thank you, you for thank being you here. Thank you so much. Thank and you thank me. you for watching. We're you done with you. You can send your opinion <laughs> <laughs> via WhatsApp to 90 or Twitter to us at Plus TV Africa. Also, catch up on this episode and all our exclusive content by subscribing to our YouTube channel at Plus TV Africa. My thank you will go to my co anchors, Ifeo Luo Oshoke and Ifeo sure. Mai, who had to step down. And of course, our guest, Elmina. Thank, thank you for you. being here. Thank you so much for having me. My name is Elsie Godwin. Please do stay safe.